The COVID-19 pandemic has undoubtedly put China's healthcare system under extreme pressure, especially at the initial stage of the outbreak. But China has been taking continuous efforts to build up its healthcare system over many years, and China is taking its advantage of social mobilization at times of crisis. In 2020, at the critical moment in the fight against COVID-19, China mobilized 346 medical teams and over 42,000 medical personnel to implement an unprecedented rescue and support of Wuhan alone. To alleviate the shortage of hospital capacity in Wuhan, it took just about a dozen days to build the Huo Shenshan Makeshift Hospital and the Lei Shenshan Hospital. A China speed. 16 temporary hospitals, along with more than 600 quarantine centers, also helped expand medical resources in the shortest time. Now let's look at China's healthcare system and its unique features. China has the world's largest healthcare system, a three-tier system at the municipal, district, and community levels in urban areas, and county, township, and village levels in rural areas. China has over 1 million medical and health institutions, 95% of which are primary level. This is to ensure the possibility of coverage at vast rural areas. Community-level hospitals and clinics in particular play a significant role in the fight against the pandemic as they are close to neighborhood, providing easy access, treatment, and nucleic acid testing, among others. Highly vulnerable groups of people, such as those at an advanced age or with underlying conditions, have been under grid-based management and monitoring. Medicine and antigen test kits are distributed to help prevent and reduce severe infections. A mechanism has been set that medical institutions at all levels should designate staff responsible for patient referral and streamline referral procedures for severely ill patients. As of January 2023, there are totally 216,000 critical care beds across the country. Now, with over 90% of its population fully vaccinated, China is also accelerating drug development, production, and supply. The antivirals are already available in many community-level hospitals, giving people better access, targeting classic symptoms of the infection. China has also improved its production capacity for fever and pain relievers, ibuprofen and paracetamol. To sum up, China's health system is under severe test during the pandemic, but is coping the challenge comparatively well due to its efficiency and coordination.